हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू वर्षिता एजुकेशन मिनी एंड डेमो प्रोजेक्ट सो नाउ इन अवर डेमो प्रोजेक्ट वी आर राइट टू डिस्कस वन स्मॉल एंड सिंपल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल प्रोजेक्ट सो दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज वेरी वेरी सिंपल बट द वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड लॉजिक थिंग्स आर अवेलेबल सो नाउ we are going to check the demo project of electricity bill what kind of the requirements and how we are ready right to create the tables and everything we'll discuss in our today's video right let's we move now first of all we are going to analyze the uh, electricity bill so what kind of the sections are there how many sections are there and what we need to just create the project means that the requirement project requirements we are going to analyze it first so can we analyze the any of your bill can you just imagine that in your uh, daily life you are getting that electricity bill from the government or uh, people right so now you can see that so these are the different different type of sections are present like a bill number date and time ERO number ERO is nothing but electricity revenue office number also and is the name of the particular person so and the next one is a so sec name means that is a section name or GRP and this is the one section right so this is the one section completed and we have that SC number like a service number so USC NO number is also present area name address category section phone and uh, pole like a load so mf so these are all the different different uh, this is also one more section in that area and then after completion of this one so present reading and previous readings are available so that's a present month reading and previous month reading and date of the um, present reading and the previous reading date and everything it will be included in that bill right so now after completion of the section now well we go to uh, energy charges also energy charges how many charges are there according to that units so so whether it is a house or any of the uh, like a organization or any shop or anything depending on our government charges wise it will write to calculate the charges and it will write to present directly in this area and the customer charges are extra and ed is a electricity duty and electricity duty interest ed interest and additional charges and interest on acd also everything it will be showing on your bill right and then so we are ready to go with a adjustment amount bill amount how much if any any adjustments are there means any a previous month you already paid some of the amount so if any adjustments are there how much of loss are you are gaining amount and net amount how much total total amount means nothing but overall after completion of the, all the adjustments and everything what kind of the amount will be there and uh, next one is a total amount and acd additional consumption deposit any deposits are there or not everything it will be showing showing in front of so in our bills right so these are additional agl services dues are there everything it will be showing and overall the finally it is showing as a total amount due and this is a one more section right up to here this is a one section then after completion of this one we have another section also what is the section you know so that's the it is a due for payment which is the due date for example uh every month 10th uh so they were given as a bill okay so uh, the uh, electricity people will give the uh, bill and then after 10 days there is a due date it will automatically it will calculate the uh, due date and it will try to so present in this area and the disconnection date also maybe after completion of the uh, due date so one week after completion of the one week again there is a discussion uh, disconnection due date will also be present maybe so just my uh, in my uh, knowledge i'm just saying to you maybe it's according to the back end if any of the meanings are there or not i don't know and last paid date and a was cell number ad is cell number and structural code and everything will be including in your electricity bill all right so these electricity bill calculations are there everything will be there now so in our project in our project we are ready to do this electricity bill so in our service now side how to do that service now side what kind of the requirements are there we are ready to just discuss 
in our today's video right now let's we move to the requirements what kind of the requirements first of all i require so some of some tables right the table name is a electricity consumer details the table name i'm just using that electricity consumer details means consumer name we need to save in a one table right first of all see i'm in my home i'm a owner of this house so my i'm a consumer so that's the reason my electricity details are my um what does it means current bill number or something sorry uh electricity uh, meter number and everything it will be stored in my uh nearby electricity department area yes or no so that's the reason first of all we need to create that electricity consumer details so perfectly and that's the reason i just given some of the you know in my electricity bill some of the fields are there i'm going to just uh, create some of the fields in this area so the backend meaning we don't know about that so what are the irda version are there or not so but as of now so in my bill what it will be there i'm going to just show in this area irda version one field will be there so that is i'm going to take it as a so integer sbm id like a string ero is the integer one so sec is the integer i'm going to take and grp is a string and these are all auto populating because it is a, a consumer when the consumer has registered in their um organization like a uh, northern power distribution organization then these are the fundamentals they, they already stored in my account so uh, grp is a string and maximum the values are showing as only one value so cycle is a string and it is a maximum only two okay two uh, letters only area is a string and that is a maximum 40 like a which area according to the uh, electricity department wise the areas will also be there so it will be right to store in that area and this is a very important uscno so uh, service code number actually right so this is a string one we are going to just auto populate but uh, manually we are just creating for example new consumer as as registering in my uh, northern power distribution organization or southern power distribution whatever maybe so in that organization one new customer has entering that's the reason we are just giving as a one unique number auto auto populate so we no need to whenever we are just creating the consumer then automatically it will populate one number automatically so scn1 number also we need to provide the scn1 number also string and the name is a string because the first time the consumer is registering that's why reason i'm going to just create the name of that person and address also we need to mention in this area category wise what kind of the category he has so phases and these are all the electricity department uh, wordings right and the load in kilowatts in that meter how much of load it will be there for this area and uh, str code is there and pole number is also there so this is a one table initially we have to create that electricity consumer details table and if for example uh, in my dummy uh, just 5 to 10 records i'm going to create means the 5 to 10 consumers are registered just imagine so this is the one table we required okay next one one more table also we required what kind of the table you know so the table name is a electricity bill now this is a major um, so table because see what a consumer is already registered in a one area we need to utilize that is the electricity bill area and the bill number it is also auto populating right usc envo is a reference site and electricity consumer details is the reference to the particular just previously we created the table now so this is the table electricity consumer table now we are going to attach s usc number as a reference whenever i select the reference to the electricity uh, usc number then automatically all the details the consumer details will try to auto populate in my fields that is the reason and the next one is a previous bill date so definitely it is a read only and it is also calculating logic will write it afterwards right so afterwards we'll write the logics so previous bill reading so previous bill date and previous bill reading also it is the integer and both are read only so which it is not possible to edit and present bill date means current date so without uh, using our day so simply automatically whenever we are creating the record then automatically the current date and time has to mention directly it will write to so save that's also logic we need to write for every area we are going to write the backend logic then only it will write to 
perfectly, we will get it all the values. So this is that's why we could call as a uh, project and present build reading. So this is a manually we need to enter the uh, build reading, right? And then units is nothing but can you imagine that uh, previous build reading and present build reading. If you just minus these two, so then only you will get the how many units are consumed as of now. So you will get it the units directly. And that's the reason the present build reading minus previous build reading are given. So this is a one thing logic also we need to write for this area. And then automatically it will write to present. That's the reason it is a read only. And this is also there. The, see here the previous build date and present build date is there. We are going to just uh, calculate from the previous build date to present build date. How many days are completed. So this is also logic we need to write for this area. And energy charges means now it is a logic we will play in this area. For example, according to our government rules uh, wise, you can see that the house connections on up to 100 uh, units, this much of um, uh, charges amount and uh, more than 200, for example, more than 100, uh, these many charges are otherwise if you have the connection type is a, if any commercial or anything also, we have the different different type of uh, charges values. That's the reason. So we need to provide, we need to write some of the logics from the back end. Okay, energy charges we need to write back end some uh, logics and fixed charges also. If it is a maybe according to my knowledge, the fixed charges are is a um, maybe is a depending on um, like a circle wise or something, it will be there, may or may not be. But as of now, I'm just giving as a numerical values, fixed charges and everything, right? And customer charges also be given as a fixed one and um, we'll go with a. ED, ED is an integer, okay, any additional charges or something, I maybe as a ED is nothing but um, so extra discount or something is there. So this is also manually just be given as a fixed one. ED installments also there is a fixed one I'm going to provide integer. If any additional charges are there as of now, we are not providing any additional charges, simply we can keep it as a zero by default. And finally, the total amount is showing as a integer that too we can calculate, we can add all the values, whichever additional charges uh, and uh, consumer charges and customer charges or like uh, energy charges, everything will be calculated. We are going to add and then we are going to get from the, uh, get the total amount in this area. Okay. So this is the integer. And now, so this is also auto populate. I don't want to just uh, give manually. And see here the last page is there. This is also right to get auto populate is nothing but another table will be there. I will show it to you. So from the table only we are going to get last paid date and last paid amount is also automatically it will write to get and due date. This is a due date we'll calculate from our for example uh, today I'm going to take it as a bill. I'm going to generate one bill and then it will calculate after uh, today uh, next to 10 days. So one day we'll write to fix for the due date like this. So we are going to play the, um, we are going to just give the logic of this area also due date and the disconnection date is also, we can write to uh, write a logic, backend logic also we need to write and any subsidy amount because already he has, he paid any kind of amount. So extra amount he paid. So that amount will be right to uh, coming to this subsidy amount or anything. So if any government is giving subsidy, so that government subsidy is entered into this integer area and subsidy amount, like a, how many units it is giving subsidy. For example, uh, government of Telangana is ready to just give a, any of the offers. For example, 100 units are free of cost. For example, you can just uh, 100 units or 200 units, whatever it may be. So if government is giving the 200 units, means directly that uh, units are 200 units, it will ready to show and subsidy amount is there, it will calculate. So 200 rupees into how much of uh, energy charges. So automatically it will calculate and it will write to show that, okay, this much of uh, subsidy government is giving to you. So everything it will be uh, coming into this table. Okay, that's fine. So this is the, uh, what does it mean? Table name, like a electricity bill table, right? Then finally another bill is also, another table is also there, that table name is electricity payment receipts because see i already paid i paid the money okay i'm a consumer i just i got a bill and then after uh, two days or after three days i just ready to pay i'm going to paying in a um, so electricity bill 
So this is also one of the table can write to calculate, can write to get the amount. So receipt number simply it is auto populated because it is a acknowledgement number type. So and bill number will also be there. The bill number is a reference and from where uh, we are going to get the bill number is there now in the electricity bill. This is a bill number, right? So it will generate auto populate, right? If I write to utilize this bill number automatically due date and everything will be auto populate. That particular person name and due date and bill amount and uh, what is the um, any pendings everything it will be auto populate, okay? And the date is also there current date we need, we need to get it and bill amount is a amount it will show it is a read only but it is a it is coming from the electricity bill table and paid amount means now how much of amount we are going to pay so after completion of entering in this area amount in words means if automatically it will write to enter in our in our last project i already shown if i enter any wordings then what how do we can uh, get the in a uh, words so already given so that logic we need to play in this area and balance do means we are going to um, do the minus so bill amount and paid amount we are going to do the minus if any uh, extra money or minus or plus anything is there means it will write to show in this area and then received person name is nothing but for example i am receiving the bill amount so then who are the person means my login credentials are there as I am a system administrator, my login credentials are there. Automatically auto populate that login in user details like a login in user first name and last name. If possible, uh, that person uh, like a department or designation also it will try to present automatically. So it is not a manual step, right? So these many tables we are ready to create, okay? And we are ready to start working on your so personal developer instance okay so these kind of the documentation logics and everything will go with a step by step videos okay now onwards i'm going to work on this project first of all what kind of the table we need to create we need to create that is a electricity consumer details and we are going to create some of the records for that and then after that with electricity bill we can start and every area we are going to write one logic right so i think uh, if you like this video you just please click on like button and in next video i'm going to create the table from uh, for the uh, consumer details and step by step all videos are containing different different type of logics for this project